what you are about to experience, children, is the ramblings of a clown that has been sniffing glue for more than six hours this day. If you do not enjoy him, or you do not want the insanity that comes along with the sorry ass glue sniffing individual that lives in a dumpster, turn your channel now. This is the reason that you should hate your television. What you are about to see, boys and girls, is nothing but absolute crap. Turn your channel. Let's all read together. The show you are about to watch is very offensive. Do us both a favor and turn it off. Now, opinions expressed may not reflect those of the producer or channel Austin. More or less, what you say on the phone, dumbasses, is not what I may agree to. That's the first warning. The second warning is very much more blunt and should get to the point very directly. Stand by because here it comes, children, just for you. What it means is you watch at your own risk. Don't cry if your feelings get hurt. Turn it off. Turn it off. Now, if your feelings get hurt, it's your own fault because you're still watching. Okay. If you're still there, let's go on to some crazier things, shall we? Good morning, children. I got to adjust this just a second. That's better. Current time is 10.03 in the evening. It is Wednesday. It is the middle of the week. It is hump day. Hope you pevious people are getting ready for South by Southwest. If you people are in town to do movie business, welcome. Spend your money. Get the hell out. Appreciate you. Love you. Bye. If you know a bunch of bands that are coming in for South by Southwest, open up your living rooms. Let them hang out in your house. Eat your food. Drink your beer. Give you lots of stuff like VD. And then send them home. Happily. Home. Got enough people in this town already. Now, Clown has been telling you, fabulous people, whether you want to hear it or not, that he has been working on a project in this town and that he has kept threatening you people with something. That's right, children. I keep threatening you people to do something, don't I? That's right, children. Clown will be live on stage. That's right. If you ever wanted to be able to tell Clown yourself one-on-one -on -one what you truly feel about him or would just like to see him live in person what he is really like, then you now have your chance on March the 27th at 11 p.m. Clown will be appearing live at the Vortex Theater located on Manor Road. So there you go. Somebody in this town is brave enough or foolhardy enough. <laughs> or maybe Clown has cleaned enough toilets to actually get live on stage. He will be taping the show that night to be broadcast here on television. You got the time. Good morning and hello. Will you not speak to me? Oh, well. You got the time. Hang on. Try speaking on your phone again. You got the time.
Well, shit me a brick. Hang on a second. I got you now. Excellent. You're welcome to the show. You got the time. Yes, clown. How are you doing tonight? I'm there go we go. In. I don't know what happened. I thought I had you guys up. My bad. What's happening? Oh, um, nothing much. What is what is cheese? Like, is that a different spelling? Yeah. That okay. This is strictly to annoy literate people. Oh, okay. Good. I'm glad I'm not literate. I just. Somebody pointed that out to me. They sounded out the words like C and C, and I got it down. Right. You see, it's, if if you're like me and it's spelled anywhere in the neighborhood, you pretty well got a chance of saying, oh, that's what that is. Yeah, no sweat. It's like meat. It's like oh. you should be able to say, I meet you, and I like a piece of meat. And it should be spelled the exact God way, you know? It should be. It should be. But, you know, I'm, it's, it's, uh, it's like there and there. Well, there's meat. <laughs> Fuck yeah, you know, there's me. Or we met there. Hey, these, they're me. Yeah, you know. Yeah. I, I, Clown, I got to tell you, though, I'm tripping out and I'm watching videos about life on Mars and pyramids and whatnot. You got to explain it to me. Is, this, is, it, is it real? Is it really the city of pyramids out there on Mars? Uh, I I couldn't tell you, but, you know, I know there's a lot of pyramids in Vegas. <laughs> So I, I know, I know, like, and and they say like because of the triangular shape of pyramids, if you stand inside of one or you put one on your roof or under over your bed, you have like weird dreams, connecting dreams, and all. it's like, yeah, who knows? Okay, well, then my next question is about what about eminent domain? Given China eminent domain, are they going to take over our land? Well, they already bought most of it. I mean, and if they want our economy, <laughs> it can't get much worse. Well, I don't. I don't really. I don't rely on the economy. I uh, dig cans out for a living. I think you do that same thing. It might be competition. Yeah, I was gonna say, man. Where, where what section are you working? I'll, I'll, I'll make sure you weren't in my area. Uh, I can't tell you, clown. Um, I don't want you shanking me or anything. I don't want to <laughs> get your it. clown age. That's, but... that's fair enough, man. You might wake up like after somebody knocked you out and see this imprint of a clown face in your shirt, and it's like some bitch got me. <laughs> That sounds sexy, clown. I might want an implant. You say no. Oh, that no. I, I'd have it up here on your chest just to make you feel safe. You know. <laughs> so you gonna? Uh, would Would you like to come see clown live at the vortex? Oh, dude, the vortex is still up and running. Oh, you, you betcha. Be over on Mainer Road. Damn right. Twenty seventh. I will be there at eleven o'clock doing a live show. Are we gonna drink? Bars open. Are we gonna smoke drugs? Uh, you can do that outside. What you do out, what you smoke outside in their little courtyard, is up to you. But you can purchase alcohol because they do have an alcohol license now. So that's yeah. cool too. I'm gonna get fucking straight throat on acid, beer. And then I'll really be running into the audience on you. <laughs> I'll come in with my bag of can and smack you. Oh, hey, at least if you're going to bring that uh, that that LSD, please bring enough for everybody. It'd be kind of nice. I'll bring enough for maybe two people or maybe three because I don't want to trip alone. There you go. And I'll... then I'm going to stick my balls on somebody's face. Oh, my hey. clown. Hey, that, that, hey, I get the first tea bag. <laughs> you got the time. Oh. You got the time. Dude, that last guy was funny as crap, man. <laughs> yeah, funny like a backed-up toilet. Uh, answer the question. Lucky. There you go. What else you got for me tonight? Well, first of all, what is that other word? Che che cheese? Cheese. That's not how you spell cheese, man. I know that, but because I spell it that way, you're not annoyed, so it worked, didn't it? God damn, don't fuck with me, clown. Hey, I have to. If you're a literate person and you're going to get on me about literacy, then I am sorry. <laughs> you you could feel, you, you, by the time you got done with it, you'd say, Ch God. E. Yeah, but I'll, 
as I don't buy cheese. Hey. A cheese. <laughs> <laughs> I don't buy your literacy deficiencies, dude. I know you're smart, and I, and I know you know how to spell cheese. Don't bullshit us. Well, no, you see, I like spelling cheese that way. You know why? Why? Because it makes literate people wonder what the fuck's going on. <laughs> Hey, I thought last week you said you weren't going to be on tonight. Uh, no. You, you didn't say that? I thought you said last week you were saying something in two weeks. Oh, those those other dudes. They keep what? calling the, the dudes from Houston, say they want to come down and get some airtime. So I told they said two weeks they'd be here. And I said, cool, come on down. Oh. You know? so, so, But still- uh, on the 27th, that's a Friday, I'm going to be at the Vortex. So that's just that. Um, doing your, you're doing your show live from the Vortex? Well, I can't do it live, but I am taping it, and we'll be showing it. Oh, so on the 27th, you won't be live on here? No, I will not be live on TV, but I will be live on stage. Well, what is the 27th? Is that a Wednesday? It is a Friday. Oh, so you'll still do your Wednesday live show on yes, TV, I, right? Yes, I will do the Wednesday live show. I will then Better, go man. Friday with a camera and somebody hopefully holding it and v- filming. And go on stage with an audience. Right, if, any, right. if anybody bothers to show up, I'm going to try to show up on the 27th. It, it starts at 11 o'clock, so it's perfect. So you can go Maynard, out. Maynard Road or something like that? Maynard. Vortex. Yeah. That's the place. Okay. Oh, and, uh, and, hey, and, he, and they even have a brand new deck they just built outside. So if the weather's nice, man, we can just, after the show's over, everybody can relax outside for a while. It's going to be sweet. That'd be sweet, dude. I'd finally get to meet you, man. That'd be yes, sweet. Man. That'd be that'd be cool. We'll hang out. Everybody can hang out after the show. I'm gonna try to make maintain. it. I, maintain. I, oh, I'm finding out about that. Oh, I also have a special guests coming. You do? Yes. You're gonna be the king? Uh, no. I, where's Lure? We believe the king may have passed away. I was wondering about that too. We're not sure though. I have people checking. I actually paid somebody a Franklin. To uh-huh. check up on that for me, and they are currently working on it. So we will know pretty soon, I hope, one way or other, if the king still walks the earth or not. Well, keep throwing this word out there. Maintain. Maintain, my bros. Okay, later. Peace. You got the time. Oh, lucky. Excellent. What else you got for me tonight? Lucky. Sweetness. What else you got for me? Um, I, I was curious. Uh, turn down your TV and just talk to your phone. It, it helps a lot. Oh, okay, all right. I right. appreciate you. Yeah, that's cool. We, uh, you, you hear your TV four seconds after you speak, so it's kind of weird. You got two conversations going on in your ears. So turn down your TV a little bit and talk to your phone because you can hear me in your phone better now. So what it is, what can I do for you? You have a question. I, I was curious as to whether you suck dick or not. Yes, I have. Uh, being a bisexual male, yes, I uh, have sucked some cocks. You, you have? Well, what, yes. Was it some kind of illicit uh, substance? I'm sorry? No, it was uh, was the dick sucking for like coke or crack? No, 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 no. It, I, uh, me and the me and the person hooked up. Um, we actually just started talking, and we found each other fairly interesting, and then it turned sexual, and we had some very nice sex. You know, there's oh. there's a very famous picture of Marlon Brando with a penis going like this. Oh, oh, and, all right, and he all right. was an admitted bisexual. So you know, I, I'm in some pretty good company. Me and James Dean and Marlon Brando, not bad. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. But no, it, well, was, it wasn't, I, I, okay, let me put it this way. I've never sold or given my body for drugs. I've always worked for them. Okay, you work for drugs. Right, you don't I, sell I, your body. I, I've gone out and labored for drugs or so, so, done, so, so like, you know. Money, it was I, for money and that's it, right? Right, I, or, or I, I've, I've, you know, there have been times when I was hooked bad enough to where it was like ski masks, me, Smith, Wesson, and a convenience store. Oh, okay. But I, uh, I've I've never done I've never gone down to the bathrooms or the park and said, um, yeah, I, I need anybody. Yeah, please. no. Well, you know, uh, I have another question. Uh, what what's with the makeup? It's it's it was, time. It was acid flashback and it just went wrong and No uh, no no no, okay. Everything went downhill if, from there. If you ask certain people or some people or actually quite a few people, clowns scare them. Normal clowns scare people. It's just a phobia against clowns. So, so if you're like a serial killer looking motherfucker, that, that, that'll that make him feel better. No, no. I wanted to go right from like normal looking cra- clown where it might start creeping them out to full on 
nightmare straight out. So oh, okay. So, I just so, want to like, open the window and say, hi! Here's, hi! here's a Freddy Krueger equivalent of, of like, uh, Bimbo the Clown. Or, or no, no, no. no, no this is strictly from nice and normal sweet might creep you out to totally nightmare and it's right there. So it's and, sweet. And, then, and then you suck their dick for coke. No, I don't. I don't do oh, draw. I don't, oh, no, I don't no, do fellatio for coke. Yeah, no, no fellatio for coke. I no forgot. I'm sorry. That, that, that was, it was just for money, not yes. for coke. No, for no, it's it, no, no. <laughs> money is for drugs. Fellatio is for love. Oh, okay. Or, or at least somebody oh. you really want to show a good time to. Okay. All right. All right. Well, that, that, that's fair enough. That's fair enough. I think we have some other people that might want to talk to you. You all right with that? Sure. Sure. Pass them up. Make sure they got to answer the question now. Lucky. Excellent. What else you got for me today? One second. <laughs> no sweat. Keep working the room. Nobody else wants to talk to me. That's all right. <laughs> all right. You know, how many people in that room? Raise your hand. I out what to say. One, yeah, three, eight, four six. People in this four people. Cool. Cool. Yeah. And, uh, all full of a bunch of interesting questions for you. Um, are, are you like? Are you just like some kind of like drug hippie something that fell out of the sky and cracked your brain open? Doesn't even know what the hell going no, on. No, no, I, I, I'm a, I'm a clown that lives in a dumpster out on the drag that uh, basically was working a decent job and just got sick of it and dropped out of society. So I painted my face. I live in a dumpster, and when I need glue, which is my heavy drug, uh, the only drug I do, which is glue, uh, then I go out, I do some day labor, I get enough for a little bit of food and some glue. Oh, okay. Do, do you pay for the anal lube with that, too? I'm sorry? You pay for the anal lube with that? No, no. Anal, no. anal lube, you can usually get in, in like the, the small packages when you're going through the, uh, the porno stores. You just slip one in your pocket. It's pretty easy. Oh, okay, that's cool. that's cool. Either that or like some cocoa butter, like you know, if you like, you know, <laughs> when they when they throw out the stuff left over from spring break, you know, usually you leave some things of cocoa butter laying around, so that's usually pretty good. Okay, well, hey, I got a little bit of extra coke hanging around here. I mean, you, you know, if you want. To <laughs> oh no, 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 I, I, I don't, I don't do coke. Um, I, me and coke do okay, but have you ever seen how they make cocaine? Yes, I have. I used to manufacture it myself. Oh, so so you know about how they pour gasoline onto it and stomp the coca leaves until the coca comes out of the leaves, and that's why when you snort coke, it's like you're snorting petroleum-based products. Right. Yeah, that's, that's how they get the coca out of the coke, the cocaine out of the coca leaves is they pour gasoline over it and stomp it. Well, I uh, should. I mean, you want you want to be a business partner? Or, I mean, no, God, no, no, no. Like I said, that that's 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 uh, that stuff. Now, now, if you want to go into glue manufacturing, hey, call me up. I'll tell you how your product is. Other than that, well, I gotta go piss off some other people. We'll see you later. Okay. You got the time. Lucky. Excellent. What else you got for me today? You ain't got no lucky charm. Um, lucky charms is okay. Um, me, I like cocoa puffs personally. Those are pretty cool. Uh, if, yeah. I'm gonna, if I'm going to go marshmallows, I'm going to go maybe like Frankenberry. Hey, uh, I mean, with that one cereal, they, you don't need the milk. With cinnamon Crisp. Yeah, Cinnamon Crisp. Cinnamon Crisps, yeah. Yeah, with Cinnamon Toast Crunch. That's yeah, pretty good. Oh, that stuff. You don't need anything for that. Just strong teeth. Er. Even with Frosted Flakes. One caller talking about he didn't understand the word cheese because he can't spell that far. No, no, he uh, he just is literate, and I'm just doing that to uh, annoy people. Oh, well, yeah, I was, I, I was, I was sorry to hear what happened to your Jayhawks the other day. Oh, uh, you mean uh, Texas Tech? Yeah. Okay, but then you, you ain't gonna say nothing when they get they uh, when they whooped up Texas. Hey, you know what? What can I say, man? It's just I every time I hear Kansas going down, it's like, damn, I'm hurting for you. Oh, really? Yeah, really. It's just like Kansas got beat today. It's like. Damn, I know somebody I know who's hurting. You know what? People need to realize how good that team is, man. Hey, you know, the proof is going to be when they hit the final, when they hit the Sweet 16, baby. So you think that's how far they're going to make it? 
Yeah, they're going to go to the Sweet 16 for sure. Yeah, because they got a young team. But Chase is going to get knocked out in the first round, though. No, oh, Texas, they might have Texas, make will make it, Texas will make second round to the 32nd and then be hit. But I figure Kansas, they got like 16 or 8. I think, I'll, well, I look at Oklahoma, too, might make it further than Kansas. Oh, Oklahoma is going to be Final Four. You think so? Yeah. Okay, now, see, going for the Final Four. I mean, they got the number one rebounder, and he's also scoring twenty two a game. They're gonna, they're gonna warrant. They now they lost three out of five. They cooled off a little bit, but they're gonna get hot when the finals start up, and they're gonna be just fine. I think Pittsburgh's gonna win this year, though. They they playing hard and Connecticut. Well, Connecticut's got a shot. Of course, you, you know, know, you know, you know the, the Blue Demons always always got that shot in there too, man. The who? Uh, South Carolina. South Carolina? Yeah, the Carolinas, Blue Demons. No, 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 that's Duke. Blue. Oh, Duke, yeah, Duke Blue. Oh, fuck Duke, man. I never did like Duke. <laughs> hey, what can I say? Gee, they always there, though. That's that's all you got to say. They overrated. They are over, UCLA overrated. Memphis overrated. Hey, you know, overrated, yeah, but if they in that final, then they have worked their place up. Right, right. Hey, can I get my fuck off? Kick it. Hey, fuck the DEA. Fuck the FBI. Fuck the APD. Sheriff Cool, Travis County um, Sheriff Cool. Fuck the Wilmington County Sheriff. And fuck all these radio stations. But shout out to Eddie 8.7 because they put their money back to the community. But how the fuck all these radio stations playing art and music, but then I put money back to the community and all these so-called whoever trying to be like us and then don't wear Obama shirt. So we got Obama. Y'all don't like it. He's the president. So y'all don't like him. Forget y'all too. So y'all know what's up. Don't try to be like us, but I don't see nobody else wear Obama shirt, Obama memorabilia, anything. One love, baby. This KC stands for Kansas City, baby. Y'all got a problem with that? Y'all come up to my hood. I can't. I'm, y'all definitely can't make it up there. Take care, clown. Peace and love, Casey. You got the time. Lucky. Excellent. What else you got for me? Hey, I got a note here on my porch that said that a clown stole my pot plant. Is that you? Ooh, no. Um, what I did is um, that that pot is now around back because we were sitting on your porch. Um, what it is is the pot for the pot that the pot was sitting in was too small so i had to take it out back and put it like in a better spot and also it's a little bit more unnoticeable unnoticeable now when it's sitting over there by those uh by those bamboo reeds see that's the best way to grow your pot is you grow it right around bamboo because it the sticks on the bamboo go up through the pot and basically hide it very well that's why you want to grow your you know, manufacture your pot along with your bamboo because they actually grow just about the same rate. So that way when people are driving by, all they're seeing is just bamboo. Oh, okay. I got you. I got you. Yeah. Well, this girl Cassidy told me that you stole it. No, no, no. Not me, man. I would not, I would not steal anybody else's plant. Now, mind you, if you happen to be walking along, going into the convenience store... And the baggie of Mary Jane falls out of your pocket and lands by your car while you're on your way into the, you know, wag a bag. And I happen to spot it. It will not be there when you get back. <laughs> but I will not steal your plant because I will not. That's like walking up and stealing somebody's apples off their tree. That's just something you don't do. So do you still live behind the dumpster? Damn right. Still living in that dumpster. Still living in the same one, huh? Yep. Hey, hey, you know, if, if this weather stops changing on me so bad, I'm just about to move down to south, the end of South Congress and get into my caddy. I'm there looking forward go. to it. Moving on up, huh? Yeah, you know, it's just, they haven't crushed it. I checked it about a month ago. It's still there. I think they might have stole the trunk out of it, but, yeah, that's okay. That's okay. You can put a tarp over it, huh? Yeah, you know, you got to get a breeze now, so it's, it's okay. Yeah, summertime's coming. You can get you a cool breeze like AC wind. Yeah. 
But uh, no, I, I I was not the one who snagged that plant. Like I said, if you look for it over by the bamboo, you'll find it. Well, I can't sleep because I, I have a feeling the clowns are going to eat me. No, no. Clowns don't eat people. They just annoy them. Now, zombies, zombies will eat you in a heartbeat. But clowns, clowns are not cannibalistic. They're just mentally terrifying. Hey, have you ever put paint on the head of your dick, like a face or something on it? No, that makes you break out in a rash, and I really don't need any more scratching down there than I already do. <laughs> what kind of like? What kind of rash is it? Like a whelp rash or like a oozy pussy? It, just, just normal heat rash. You know, if you don't bathe a lot, you know, which I don't get showers that much, that. You know, it, it, your tortillas start getting fuzz on them, so it's just like you know, it's like normal jock kind of rash. There you go. No, nothing really pussy, you know. Well, that is like if it's getting too bad, you just soak it in peroxide for a while. It's okay. Have you ever had sex with a goat? No, I'm not in bestiality. Yeah. Not in bestiality, huh? Have you ever had sex with an alien? Mm, well, wait a minute. There was this Italian girl that wasn't here legitimately, so yeah, I guess. But at the time, hey, clown man, what's up? It's Zuda man from H Town. Hey, H Town. You guys hey, ready? For, you guys ready for next week, right, baby? Hey, man. Hey, we were just talking about that clown man. You know, we're ready to come up there, man. We're not trying to cause no ruckus on your show. We're just trying to come and support, man, because that's what we do, man. You know what I'm saying? Show love about having having a good time. You know, in my life, when can I? You there? Especially for a good cause to support my boy Clown Man. Damn right. You know what no. I'm... Yeah, next week we're expecting, right? Because we said two weeks ago, we said two weeks. Now we're saying one more week, which is next week. So you guys are going to be down next week, right? Yeah, I'm going to be there next week. I'll probably We're going to be there a little bit early, you know, because I'm coming up. I got to hit San Antonio up, man, and then I'm coming to Austin. But, man, I can't wait, man. It's going to go down. But, hey, clown man, I see the question on the TV today is lucky or glue. I mean, lucky or cheese. Yeah. All right, man. Well, here, that, that really is very pertinent to Houston, Texas, man. Because let me tell you why. There's a neighborhood called Lucky Seven, right? Lucky Seven's in the south side of the three, Third Ward, Texas, man. It's right over there by where my daughter stays, by the University of Houston. And they call it Lucky Seven because it's seven streets, man. But on them seven streets, their main product is cheese. Oh, they that's sell- the sweetness. Here it is. It's the bomb. You know, that's 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 what uh, would get sold a lot over there, man. Not that I'm one who likes to consume and use that, man. Nah, I'd rather do something else. Houston's big on pharmaceuticals, man. But it's funny how you had a question like Lucky and Cheese, man, because that's very pertaining to a neighborhood next to mine, man. But what's been going on, man? Everything been good? Yeah, I'm good, man. Uh, I'm just getting for. I'm ready for my live show on the 27th. I'm uh, doing a live show on stage over at the at this uh, local theater. On so, what on what day is it? Why don't you go ahead and let everybody know one more time so yeah, they can't yeah. miss the clown man live. The the, the uh, March 27th over at the Vortex. Uh, I will be live on stage. And uh, I I will be there at, like, the show starts at 11 o'clock at night. Already, man. That, on the 7th, and that's the 7th of no, April? 2-7. Two 2-7, seven, two seven, baby. 2-7. Two oh, seven, two seven. Already, man. Yeah. Already, clown, man. What's called? Yeah, I just smoked a fat sweet and got some Whataburger, and I'm chilling with another member of the Optimo clique known as Robin Marks. This is a good, good friend of mine. Sweet. Here you go. He, yeah, you got another fan. Clown wow, man, what's up, man? I love your show, clown man. How's it going, clown man? Hey, what up, my brother? How are you tonight? Man, I'm lovely, man. It's been a good day, man. I finally get to talk to the clown man himself, man. It is it is my honor to be able to speak to you, my friend. How are uh, you? It's, it's my pleasure, clown man. How's the, how's, how's the show going today, man? Well, we got we've been, a lot of callers, man. We've been pretty man. tight, man. We've been pretty tight. We've been talking about some good stuff tonight so far. We're just chilling along. Um, I let I let my friend Casey like do a little venting, which is good. And I've had a few okay. other people at, who probably haven't seen the show before been asking me out some good questions, and cool, uh, it's, cool. it's been an okay show, man. It's been good. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Hey, Carmen, um, what do you think? Do do a lot of girls call the show? 
once in a while, um, it's 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 mostly male, but I hear a few girls giggling in the background because they're digging the clown. It's all good. It's all good. I already clown, man. Clown, man. That's what's up. All right, man. Here's Sam, man. I'll see you soon, man. I'll see you a week from today. We shall see you my soon, my brothers. Peace. Hey, this, this, for those who don't know that are watching, take a good look at this man right here. This is the illest clown y'all ever will see. And you know what? This TV show, it's on public access right now. You know, and this is a badass show because you could call in, you could say whatever you want. Clown Man don't be tripping. Clown Man's all ears. You know what I'm saying? And so basically, this is going to go from public access to statewide. And Because it's already statewide. I'm tripping. It's already getting love from Houston, from San Antonio, from Austin, some of Dallas, man, Corpus, wherever y'all from in Texas. It's Texas, baby. Got to unite. And from Texas, it's going nationwide. So y'all are all going to see Clown Man with the optimal click. Put it in their faces, because y'all see on TV how many fucked up shows there are, how many bullshit TV shows there are. This the realness right here. In case y'all don't know, I don't even need to speak on it no more. Just tune in at 10 o'clock on Wednesdays, because that's what the motherfucking deal is on my life. Clown man, you don't know this man, but we're going nationwide. You remember in the 90s, the Cherokee boys, them motherfuckers got paid millions to prank con people. You got to be kidding me with all this garbage on TV and all this shit that these people don't talk about. That's what we have to say. So if y'all don't understand, be on the lookout. It's optimal with clown time. It's an alliance. Sweetness. See you guys soon. You know, am I, what do you think? Am I wrong, clown man, or what do you think the deal is? What's the business? You, you, you cooking well, my brother. You cooking well, but you see... There's a certain aspect that you you are thinking about, but Clown won't take that step, okay? You are on the right track. You are going in the right place. But the thing is, when you sign your name on a contract with somebody, you put part of what you are doing in their hands. This is just the way life works. No, no, it, it's, it's one way or the other. That's just the way life works, right? So what you understand now is Clown will never put his name on that dotted line because... No, me neither. Me neither. Come, man. That's what I was just talking about. It's independent, man. Yeah, uh, but, independent, but on a nationwide level. You know what I mean? I'm not that, signing uh, over. I'm not signing my name to nobody. Duty Clown, man, we're on the same page. Other people ain't in the same book, but we're on the same page. I feel you. You got to, man. People want to dick you over. You know what I'm saying? If yeah, people... I, I know, baby. You see, that's like Clown will never put his name on that line because I don't want man, somebody's hand around my throat. <laughs> Y'all really clown man, man. Okay, well, I got I got to go, my brother. I will see I you next week. I'm man next week, baby. Take Peace. it easy. You. I'm going to have to be man next week, baby. Take it easy. You. Turn, turn, turn that TV down a little bit. Turn turn that TV down a little bit. There you go. Hi, good evening. Welcome. Cheese, cheese, bitch. Cheese, cool. What else you got for me? What do you think about Obama? He's a president. Big deal. So what? You like him? I don't know him. How 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 can I tell if I like somebody if I don't know them? I mean, his race. He's black. Like a mother niggas coming up calling in. Crazy as hell. Uh, no. As, as far as I know, Obama is a man of color. He's not an old white banker. So if Obama is a, not an old white banker, there's no way he could be a nigger. Well, I never said he was a nigger, but I mean, pretty much is because he's black. But that other nigger calling in about fuck the APD and shit, that nigger's on crack, ain't he? No, as far as I know, if you get screwed by APD, you probably feel the same way. Yeah, yeah, true. You a crack addict? No, never tried it. How about glue? You like that shit? Love glue. You put that shit up in your nostril? Damn right I do. How about in your ass? No. Nah. You don't like it there? No, the only thing I really like in my, my, my anus is champagne because champagne enemas, the bubbles tickle and the alcohol goes directly into your system so it can, like, tickle you and screw you up at the same time. Oh, I'm going to have to try that shit. That'd be pretty good, huh? It's absolutely excellent. Yeah, well, I like your show, Clown Time, man. I appreciate that. You look like a crazy motherfucker, though. I like you. <laughs> I, I, I accept that, and I, I respect that. I thank you very much. Have a, have a great night, my friend.
You got the time. Hey, man, what's going on, clown man? This How much? Big... Answer the question, please. Yeah, man, we're going to have to go with cheese, man. There you go, baby. What else you got for me tonight? Man, I got the cheese, man. The cheese these dudes are bringing, man. I'm noticing all these haters calling in. Oh, by the way, this is Big Ram from Optimo in Austin. I'm watching your show live on the air, Sweet. baby. Sweet. Yeah, man, I'm looking forward to seeing you next week, man. But, you know, aside from all that, man, it's just I'm, I'm starting to notice that I'm studying psychology, right? And I'm noticing all these guys who call in, all these, you know, male, like, frat dudes or that guy who was just talking about nigger stuff. You know, I, I notice they always bring in, like, uh, talking about sucking dick or taking it in the ass or something. And I'm starting to see the correlation in that, man. I think these are dudes are all really fags. No, and no, that's no, why no, they're okay, threatened no, by no, people no, like no, you no, and me, no, man. No, no, wait a minute. They are probably not homosexuals because the homosexuality um, community has taste and class and they wouldn't accept those guys yeah that's the truth man so it, you know, <laughs> a, 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 you know if you're you know fag fabulous and great no those fabulous and great people would not accept those people into their community you're right about that man so Good. now if if they're so wondering and so scared about who they are well maybe if they ever realized who they might be but they're usually too concerned like most hardcore Christians about mm -hmm. what other people are doing with their sexuality. Yep. I was trying to po point the finger at other people. That's right, the thing, well, I don't, you know, I, I, cause I guess I, I was raised Christian or whatever, but I mean, the thing to me is like these people push these ideas on people and then they go, these are the ones who are molesting children. These are the ones, you know, not everybody, every, you can't say everybody, but I mean, these are people who are doing this, that dude tapping his toe with the bathroom stall, all these, you know, well, they're all full see, of shit, man. It, and that's it, just, it, I'll, I'll give you the perfect example. There used to be a gentleman in this town by the name of Mark Weaver. Mm -hmm. He is a person who started CAP, uh, Citizens Against Pornography, okay? Mm -hmm. They used to go out and protest, like, gay bookstores or places that, like, AAA News that, you know, sold porno, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and the guy at AAA was perfect because he they were protesting him one day, right? So right down in the same complex from them is a Domino's Pizza place. So he had one of his employees go down buy a bunch of pizzas and give them to the guys protesting because mm -hmm. why they were using their first amendment rights to say what they wanted to and you right about that. that right so but you got to understand the person in austin who had the largest porno collection for research purposes only <laughs> was that dude was mr <laughs> Why? For research purposes only. Now, now, mind you, if you are so hardcore dead set against something, would you even consider having a single image of it in your house? I agree with you on that, man. Hypocrisy, man. It's ruining right, this country, right. bro. So if somebody is sitting there and they're screaming this and that, and you walk up to them, to them and you say, F you. And they look at you and they say, why did you do that? That's disgusting. Look right at them and say, forgive me. <laughs> Just, yeah, if, man, hell if yeah. If they are, yep. they will say, if you're Christian. I have no choice. I forgive for you for your trespasses against mm -hmm. me. Exactly, if man. If they Just... sit there and they say, no way, and then you say, then there stands a hypocrite who I'll see on the lake of fire. That's right, man. I'll be down there waiting on you, clown right, man. You We're going to be blowing big. <laughs> if, if, you want, if you want to sit there and you want to study psychology, I'm a great head case. Most people consider me absolutely positively insane. And I say, well, you very well might be right. Yeah. But I will sit there and I will talk to you like that last guy. I, if you want to go somewhere with me or try to get, take me somewhere, I wish you the best of luck, but by the time we are done with our conversation, you will more than likely have thoughts in your head that probably wouldn't be there due to the fact of honesty and openness. That's right, man. <laughs> so, you know, if, if they always, you know, it, and this is, I'll, I'll tell you, I'll tell you the greatest thing in the world is, and this is, this is so backwards. It's the most backwards thing you will ever hear, but is the absolute rightness right if you truly 
hate somebody, always tell them the absolute truth. Yeah. That is the truth, man, because... Uh, that, you know, how do I look in this? Oh, you look like a dog that you look just like a got jacket. runs and it just squirted all over you, honey. Man, that's absolutely right, clown man, because that's how I'm trying to live my life, bro. I mean, you know, I used to be a wheeler and dealer. I used to do a little bit of this, a little bit of that. You know, I wasn't living right, man. You know, I ain't no pussy, but, you know, I'm trying to live right now. You know what I mean? I'm be honest and just, you know, keep it, you know, the term keep it real is so cliche. Yeah. But, I mean, it's just, you know, it's the truth, man. Just be honest with you. I treat you with respect. You treat me how I treat you how you want to be treated. You have and, gone from shuck and jive to equality and openness. Exactly, man. We're all equal. You, me, that asshole is being racist. We're all, you know, the equal, man. But, you know, it's good people, it's bad people, regardless of where you come uh, from or who you in, are. In, in all colors, in all, all colors, races, creeds, there are people man. who are evil and those who are good. Exactly. And you know what I'm saying? If I don't like you, it's not because of what your religion is or what your ethnicity is. It's because you're a fucking asshole and you deserve to be treated like a bitch. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. It doesn't matter who you're in. You, people. You, and, get, oh, man. you get what you bring to the table. Exactly. So if exactly. you end up eating it, it's because that's what you brought to the table. Uh, the other thing is you're learning, and, and, and it's one of the things that society has the de- hardest problem with but jesus was very yeah i i believe but in a different way right jesus was very cool about this and you pick this up in his teachings not from what was written but from what he spoke and how right. he acted is the greatest thing in the world the easiest thing in the world is to what judge that's right 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 so mm-hmm. the hardest thing in the world is to just say that ain't quite right so what you have learned over time is never judge somebody by the first time you meet them. That's the truth, man, because people judge me by the first time they meet me. Everybody think I'm a fucking asshole, man. You know what I'm saying? Right, but it's, it's a matter of honesty. <laughs> it but, is, you yeah, because I just think you, know, you just got to keep it honest, man. Right, you know? but, but you see, you learn over time mm-hmm. the, the assholes are the guys you can trust. The guys who are the nicest guys in the world mm-hmm. are the guys... Who will lift your pocket quicker because they are the ones with the face of the liar. That's right, man. So you that's why you sit there and you say, oh, this guy, this is a wonderful guy. Mm-hmm. And you turn him on to his friends. You have turned evil loose on your friends. If they always say, well, I want to meet your friends. Well, we'll get to that eventually. And you give it a couple of times to look behind that mask because this guy may be a decent guy, but he may be having just a day that just totally... Mm-hmm. Packed him in the nuts, right? And he's just That's like, right. Boom, shaka, you know. He's just, <laughs> For real. You know, and, but he's a really cool guy. And the next time you meet him, it's like, oh man, I am. Yeah, I mean, yeah. The guy that just walks up and smiles while he's shaking your hand, mm-hmm. scoping you out, peeping you, he's up. picking you apart, and he's seeing how far he can go with you. Mm-hmm. And that's why you say on the second or third time, if that smile remains, then you watch your wallet. Yep. <laughs> Clown the man got is, the hand is going man. farther up your arm and around towards your mm-hmm. back. Round, I, man, I've seen it happen so many times. Oh, like, yeah. Oh, man, you ain't lying about that. And I hope all the people listening are really like listening to me like, oh, this fucking guy with fucking shit on his face. Weird. He's not like me. Now, this guy's telling y'all the fucking truth, bro. Like, man, that's what, you know what I'm saying? That's why we, you know, we all high and shit when we call you Clown Man. But, you know, you, you talk about the real shit, man. Real, recognize real. We respect that, you know? Yeah, it's, that's why I want to come fuck. Yeah. Yeah, you, it's, it's, it's 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 a matter of well all, you know all those guys are stoners and this is like yeah we we get a little bit out there because we want to go away for just a while because our situations now there's a big difference my children between using some stuff to relax yourself and disappear for just a little while after your day and using those things to change your reality completely yeah there is a huge huge difference well i got other people my brother i will see you next week i, or I, will see I can't see wait man hey what kind of glue do you want us to bring you 
Maybe, you know, just grab something from the shelf. We'll Not no right. Elmer's, right? We need some heavy-duty glue, right? No, yeah, uh, uh, more more towards that kind of stuff you use for your model airplanes. How's that? Model airplane glue. I got you, bro. You, you, do you smoke weed or no? Uh, like, like I said, it's, that's good for some people. Me, I, I, drive, I give me a tube and I'm a happy Hey, dude. Hey, that's cool, man. We're going to bring you a little bit of that. We're going to bring some blunts in, man. We're going to come hang out with you. We're looking forward to it, man. All right. I see you guys next week. All right. Take it easy, Peace man. my love. You got the time. All right, take it easy, man. Hi, Clown. Hello, my dear. Uh, answer the question, please. Lucky. I'm pretty lucky to be talking to you. Excellent. Uh, can you turn your TV down just a hair, please? Yes, I can. You are the best. Now, what can I do for you, my sweet? Um, I think you're pretty sexy. Would you want to go out on a date with me? Well, if that's okay with my wife, I'll happily go out on a date with you. Okay. I, I actually, my, my wife is pretty cool. Uh, she actually lets me go to the roller derby and movies and stuff with other women. You know, it's not well, like rodeo's gonna... coming up. Will you get rodeo with me? Huh? Rodeo's coming up. Will you get rodeo with me? Oh, hell yeah. I'll go to the rodeo with you. Ride some bulls? Well, I don't ride bulls, but we can go to the carnival. I know some of the carnies. Um, you know some and... of the carnies. And, and uh, we, can, uh, we can go see, you know, like Merle Haggard's coming. Now, that's a pretty cool show. Yeah, I like Merle. Merle's, Merle's, you know, now, if Merle's on a good night, it's an outstanding show. If, if Merle's been riding the lawnmower, <laughs> I'm just going to the, I'm mowing neighbor's grass on my way to the store. <laughs> you, you live seven miles down the road. Hey, he's got a big yard. Yeah. Whee! That's Merle for you. Have you ever hung out with Merle? No, never had that pleasure. Now, I Merle, have really? hung, I have hung out with Hank the Third, that's Hank Williams' son. Uh huh. He was pretty cool. Not bad at all. Not, yeah, pretty damn nice guy. Really? Yeah. He what? when he's doing country, he looks just like his granddaddy. And then for the second half of the set, when he does his uh, heavy metal band Ass Jack, uh -huh. boy, that guy can rip some shit. Really? Really good stuff. What's your real name? My name is Booger J. Clown. Booger J. Clown. That's me. No, your real name. My name is Booger J. Clown. Where do you live? I live in a dumpster out behind the drag. No, where do you really live? Okay, during the summertime, I live in a Cadillac down off of South Congress in the junkyard. I was just on South Congress and I didn't see you. Well, no, it's because I'm up here because, like, you know, when I got to do my show, you got to be up towards the center of town because I'm off of East 7. I was on the drag, too. Didn't see you. I, I got a UT. I've never seen you. Hey, you know, what can I say? There there are hundreds of thousands of people on UT at the drag at any given time during the day. It's kind of hard to spot a single individual. Okay, well, will you take my number? Uh, I tell you what, you, can you email it to me? What's your email? O L B I T T Y three A M at Yahoo. Okay. I will or do that. You can become my friend on MySpace. It's myspace.com forward slash Austin Clown. What about Facebook? Don't have MySpace. Okay. Um, oh, yeah. by, oh, by the way, where do you want to go on our date? Um I want to do something wild and crazy. Oh, have you ever been to the Mongolian barbecue? I have. It's so good. That place rocks, doesn't it? Let's See, do it. We can go there. And, and we'll do the then, carnival. Uh, we can just figure out what we need to do. We can go catch a movie, go to the club, figure out something. Yeah, that sounds good. See, I, I know how to start a nice evening. It's a good meal. Mongolian's great, man. Make what sounds you want. Good. Let them cook it. Fantastic. All right, uh, uh, send me your phone number. Call you. I will do. And uh, I love I'll, your show. I'll, huh? Love your show. I see you every Wednesday. Uh, I love you too, and I'll see you soon. All right. So I'm good. Bye, Booger. Bye, bye. -bye. You got the time. Chief. Excellent. What else you got for me? Um, do you do you recognize my voice? You sound familiar. Like I've known you from Rocky. Uh, uh, say that again. From Rocky Horror? I'm going to give you a clue. Meow. 
Hi, meow, meow. How are you? Meow, meow, meow. Hey, I got a question, faggot. Fat ass. Hey, I got a question. Hey, hey when do the, um, does the rodeo start? Uh, rodeo starts next week. What date? Uh, I believe the 13th. Are you going to go? I might. You might? Yeah, okay. I, 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 how, how you going to go if you live in the trash and you're poor? Well, no, you see, you catch the bus. The bus goes by there. But you know you have to pay to go in? Have you no, ever been no, there? If, if you know the carnies, like I know the carnies, <laughs> you can usually get a job cleaning up the tilt world after people throw up. For real? Yeah, for you know, a little bit of money and a little bit of bag of something that you can trade for glue to other people uh, for the fair. So yeah, it's you know you can get some work out there. How much they pay now for for real? They do? Yeah, I'm serious, man. It's like you know, how many? Okay, if, if you're a guy who sees it every single day on the ride, you don't feel like cleaning that stuff up all the time. So if some guy comes up to you and say, "Hey, brother, what's up from last year? You still going?" Yeah, you need a cleaner. I'm on it. You get a bucket. You get a, a sponge. You get a drying towel. Hit it. Clean it. Pop it. Where you go? And, and what time do they close daily? I'm sorry. What time do they close daily? Like every day, uh, what time they close? I think they like run till like eleven or twelve o'clock at night. Uh, um, can, can I say something else? Sure. You know, you got to come to my show so you can do that live on stage. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the meow meow man, hit it! Hey, man. Oh. What's up, man? This is my little brother. Answer, is, answer the question. Oh, uh, lucky. Sweet. What else you got for me, little bro? Uh, not much. How, how you been? I've been good. I've been good, man. Uh, you ever find your dog? Your dog? <laughs> nah. Oh. Okay, I thought your dog was lost. Oh, well. So, uh... <laughs> you got the time. Hey, man, I got three questions. Okay, answer my question, and I'll happily answer yours. Okay, I'm going to say cheese. Excellent. Gonna... What, else, what, what, what did it kick it to me? Hold on. I say cheese because that's the cat pissing in my face, right? Okay. Okay. Second one is, you where you got a hippie faggot long-haired mime three, four channels up from you, stealing your spot? Or is he right next door to you? <laughs> no, he's right next door. You should walk over there and slap the shit out of him. Oh, Why is he calling no. himself a mime? Shit, no. A mime and a clown? Well, no, you see, you see, mimes are more evil than clowns are because clowns will at least scream at you and talk nasty to you. Those guys won't even say a word, and they're scarier than I am. They, they just look kind of fruity. He's wearing a jacket. He's got his hair all long and pretty laid out. <laughs> what, what can I... He's, he's, a, he's a beautiful mime, isn't he? Yeah, to each his own. Okay, my third question is, uh, are you the guy that's coming over to my house and stealing all the cans from my recycling bin? No. Are you sure? I, I Look, man, if, if, if I've been over there and I'm stealing the cans, I'll leave a five because I figure the work effort you put into them you deserve something out of them before I go recycle them. So, I'm, you know, if, if it's me, I, I pay respects. I guess that's it. All right. Talk to you in a bit. Goodbye. You got the time. Goodbye. Hey. Uh, Hi. Answer, uh, answer the question, please. Absolutely. I'm going to go with uh, Lucky. Fantastic. What can I do for you this evening? Well, uh, First off, uh, I would go with the question myself. Let's see. Uh, trailers for sale or rent? Ooh. Now, um, how long do you intend to stay in it? Um, well, maybe two years. Hmm. Uh, is it like a, a small one or is it like one of the uh, big streamliners? It's a medium-sized classic, you know, 10 model with the, the round body. Oh, buy it. Buy it? Buy it. All right. Trailer's for sale then. Sweet. <laughs> De definitely. The reason being is the classic 
classic ones are really coming back into style. So as you're living it, you can restore it. Cool. And as you restore it, you know, you can modify it a little bit. And like on the wings outside, you can put lights around it or you can leave it strictly classic. And hopefully by the time you get done remodeling it back into the original 50 style, you can probably actually turn just a little bit of a profit with it. Sweet. Sweet. That's a good, that's a so, good yeah, way to go it's, then. It's, you know, cause if, if you rent it and it's an older model, if, you know, even if something's just barely hanging there, you just say, yeah, screw it. You know, you're going to rip it off and because I'm only renting here. But if you right. own it, you'll say, okay, you'll, you'll take it off. You'll rework the door. You'll rework the sill and you'll put it back in place. And you say, cool money in my pocket. Boom. Awesome. And it's a awesome. cooler place to live. Yeah. Yeah. That if, makes sense. if you rent, you don't care if you're buying it and you, and you're working it, then you're actually concerned about it, which is cool. Right. Yeah. 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 That's a good idea. Yeah. yeah I mean, <laughs> if, if you're there for six months, you rent it. If you're there for more than eight months and you know, you're going to be doing something, you might be able to do something with it. You purchase. Yeah, it's that's a matter, smart all, way to yeah, go. Yeah, it's all a matter of investment. Right on, right on. Where uh, where do you think the best place in Austin is to to park that? Oh man, there used to be that nice, nice mobile home park over by Zilker Park that isn't there anymore because it got torn down oh. and turned into condos. Oh man, nasty ass bunch of jack. Sh- Damn. That was bunch the one. Of, bunch, of, bunch of guys who do this for a living. That's uh, so. Was that that was that place that was out by Chewy's, right? You got it. Oh, gee. That That's was a that was the landmark. coolest place in the world, man. Place was a landmark. Those right. fucking sons of bitches. Right. And then, 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 it, then it's like tear it out and condos. Ah. Oh. So I, God. I, you know. You got to shop around. You got to find some place in South Austin that's still got a few shade trees and some right. decent people in there, and just just hunt around and look. It all depends on how much you feel like paying for the land you're parked on. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I mean, if 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 <clears throat> you know you're only going to have it for a couple of years, you actually may look instead of like for a mobile home park, find yourself. Yeah a long-term parking spot on, like, one of the local campgrounds. Right. So that way, it's like you go in and you say, okay, I want to rent the same spot for about eight months. Summertime comes around, you hook it up to the car, you go out, you know, Mm -hmm. country, Carlsbad, wherever, take it around. It's also good, so that way it's like, when you're going down the road, what you're doing is you're testing the sturdiness of what you've been doing. Right. Because if you let it sit and you first time you try and roll it down the road, the wheels fall off. It's like, damn, knew I forgot something. Yeah, absolutely. But if you take it to a few places out in the summer times, yeah. just on a couple of weeks away, that means everything that you've been working on gets tested out and you know what works and what doesn't. Wow, that's awesome, man. So then you go back to Good the advice. same KOA, you park. Mm-hmm. Take the other eight months, take it up for the second test drive to make sure that everything is where it is. You park it in a lot and you unload it. Wow! You know, you were talking earlier about uh, about that uh, uh, that uh, uh, I guess what was it uh, trash yard that that you're saying you're living in? Oh yeah, the junkyard. Uh, car, car the junkyard, yard, right? Yeah. Over on South Congress, I actually. I actually know that junkyard very well. <laughs> Believe it or not. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's 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 right across from where uh, Southside Towing is now, which used to be A One Imports, which moved down the road. Yeah. So then you got then you got the, you know that that place, which is Southside Towing, which they outgrew their space and had to take over an entire junkyard, and uh, it's the place right across from because that way you like you can either catch a ride on I thirty five or you just go over South Congress and hit the bus. Right. And you're right yeah. near the food bank. So it's like, hey, it's a great triple header. <laughs> and there used to be like that really nice bar right there, but that got too high uh, on rent, so the guy split. And it's just like, I don't know what they're going to turn it into now. Was that, uh, was that Beverly? Is that was yeah, Bev's, yeah. Yeah, I remember that. See, that was another Austin landmark. 
I mean, what can you say when the, when the cops go over there do do burnouts in the bar on their bikes and none of their cop buddies notice that how much the guys drank and then he gets on his bike with the old lady he goes down the road and gets killed it's the bar's fault instead of all the other cops there who oh, are supposed geez. to notice intoxicated people that didn't stop him from riding oh man that's ridiculous that's, yeah that that's law gone amok right there that's not good see i i've never understood the fact that it's not like you're saying here <laughs> Click, you have to drink that now. Right. It's yeah. not the bartender's fault that you couldn't stop yourself and say, man, I need a cab. Yeah, precisely. They're supposed or, to or... sit there and say, okay, we're cutting you off after three drinks because we don't know if you can handle your liquor or not. Or it's like, it's like saying, we came home, found our son done of a gunshot wound, and there was an Aussie record on the turntable. We called our lawyer. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's a clear case of people not wanting. They they want to blame the substance. Yeah, blaming it's, it's the like, people. oh, okay, it's the guy who, it's the guy and the girl who are serving that. If you can't take responsibility for your own self on how much you consume, precisely, then the person that you kill, hopefully, it's only yourself. The only person in this whole scenario to blame is you. Uh huh. That's right. But your family will sit there and say it's their fault. <laughs> How? I was uh, the one who put it down my throat. He didn't walk by me and say, stick a needle in him and go home with juice. No. Didn't yeah. walk by me, go, ah. no. Yeah. I said, I'd like another one of those, please. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, I hope the people out there are listening. We need to change that law. That's kind of a goofy, it is. It is, it is, you know, It is the most stupid, maniacal piece of flying crap. <laughs> truly is. It up is, here. man. It's just like, talk about being able to take responsibility for your own actions. Now, if somebody screws up and you get caught in the crossfire, hey, that's their fault then. If they get drunk and they take you out, then you get to go at, not after the bartender, after the guy, yeah. what he had to cover your ass because you're the one who's here. Uh-huh. Not the guy who served them. It's not his fault. He didn't go and force him. It's the guy who got behind the wheel. But he's right. dead now. So that's the family's problem now because he's the one who damaged you, not them. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I heard oh, that. It... And do you uh do you do the root of Maya? No. no. Me and me and coffee just ain't had that now now me and a Mountain Dew, that <laughs> Mountain Dew's got no chance at all. <laughs> but me and coffee, yeah. nah, it's okay. It's all for you. Can't, <laughs> even be stand, can't even stand the smell of it brewing. Really? Yeah, walk by, it's just like, oh, it, never mind. Oh. The bookstore I like has a coffee shop in it now. Oh, gee. Think I'll go find someplace else to read. <laughs> God. So it's just like yeah, you're standing there, you're really into a book, and all of a sudden it's just like, Oh my God! Somebody just took a big old Doberman and threw it into a toaster and turned it on high. <laughs> ah! I can taste that. Uh, <laughs> wow! Now they got a they got a malaria benefit going on over there tomorrow, and I, I thought that was a little bit odd because. Uh, you know, of all the benefits you're getting these days, malaria isn't uh, one you see a whole lot of. Yeah, it must be for people down in Central America or West Africa. Yeah, I guess. Um, Unless we're they're going to have a pretty good malaria epidemic that we don't know about. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Well, they had, I think they had a small breakout when uh, K- Katrina hit Louisiana. That could possibly be. So I that'd know. That'd be the right conditions for it, actually. Yeah, well, I know they had to contain a couple of cases. They were in the news, so it, it happens that you that or the coast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All those so people that went down there to help out are now yeah. suffering from malaria. <laughs> hey, remember, <laughs> no good deed ever goes unpunished. Indeed, indeed. Well, they're going to be having a benefit at Rudamaya. They're going to be having some good bands, man. So you know, if you can. 
clamp that nose and, and you know, maybe you and some of your watchers can come on out and check out some of those good Well, bands. you know, it's, okay, it's Rudamaya. When is it? It's tomorrow. Tomorrow at Rudamaya, there is a benefit for people with, with malaria. malaria. Correct. Now, that's original. How many bands are playing? There for right now, there's three bands. Three uh, bands. Any, any of them have malaria? No, I don't think any of them have any malaria. Any of them have malaria in the time. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the malarians. Just, it's okay. Just don't let them sweat on you. It's, it's all right. Yeah. Uh, no, okay. So that, that's cool. Uh, well, there it is, folks. There's the information. What you do is your business. You now have the information available to you. So there you are. That, that's awesome. about as close as I can legitimately get to it. Awesome, my friend. So, Thank you so much. Good luck at Room I tomorrow. All right. You have a great one. Peace. Bye-bye. You got the time. Uh, yes. Um, I was wondering what the best strip club in Austin is. The, the what? The best strip club in Austin is. Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, Sugars is really good. I like uh, the Yellow Rose. is pretty cool, too. Uh, okay. Then, then you have Joy, and then you have the O Club, and then you have uh, Ricks. Uh, as far as totally, as, as, tar, as far as totally nude goes, I like Hot Bodies over on Burleson Road, and then you have XTC, and I haven't checked out the Pink Monkey over off of 290, but that probably is going to be pretty interesting. A totally nude club called the Pink Monkey. Oh, yeah, I've seen that one. Um, I also have one more question. Do you know if the guy from uh, Casino El Camino is a Satanist? Who, uh, Lifto? Yeah, the dude with the dreads. Oh, oh, that guy. He used to work over at Elysium. Yeah, I, th- I think that's the guy. Yeah, that's he, the, uh, yeah, what about him? I was wondering if he was a Satanist. I wouldn't know. I've never asked him. Okay, just, just a question. Is there any particular reason why? Uh, I just wondered because the place is, but looks really satanic. Which place? Elysium? Casino El Camino. No, not hardly. Oh, okay. All right. No, you see, Casino El Camino is a really cool bar that a guy from Brooklyn owns. Okay. It, is, it is not satanic in the least, thank you. But, you know, I think Lifto is pretty evil at times. I think it's just the earrings that are like lift pieces. But that could yeah. be wrong. All righty, one, one last thing really quick. Could you tell my friend Meredith happy birthday? Happy birthday, darling. All right, man. Thank you. Sweet. Have a good one. You got the time. Chief. Excellent. What else you got for me? Look, I want to tell you some things, all right? In okay. Question. All right. Um, first, can, can you get in trouble for people cussing, for taking, talking shit? Uh, well, let's see. If one of my audience members starts to say slandering people, um, then that's between them and the caller. If uh, they want to start dropping f bombs, it is after about ten thirty at night. So, any children who might not understand those words are more than likely, hopefully, in bed. Also, due to the fact that we are cable locked, we are not FCC restricted, but we do try and like. Stay pretty clean until about 1030, which is when hopefully kids who don't understand that language are in bed. Anybody still up after 1030 pretty well already knows the meanings and understandings of the words that we're dropping. Okay. Next thing. Has that guy um, called you the guy that talks shit, the one that says fat bastards at night? No, he hasn't called me lately. Because probably he doesn't know that your show is on Wednesday. Yeah, he does. He actually... uh, he showed up uh, not too long ago, uh, said hey about you know about a month and a half ago, and then uh, you know about three weeks after that, cat guy showed up. Hi, cat uh, guy. <laughs> Hi, cat man. So yeah, um, um, fag basher and all those crew uh, knows or his crew knows I'm here every Wednesday. So you know FBU and the gang haven't shown up yet. So what can I say? Okay. Um, have you been to that club, the Yellow Rose? Yes, I've been to the Yellow Rose quite a few times. Oh, uh, because I have uh, two, two of the hoes. Have, have you seen one of them, that, that short girl that uh, wear no, glasses? I, just, I, I haven't been over there lately, thank you. Uh, you got the time. Good evening. 
Are you going to speak into your phone or are we just going to play with dead air? You know, folks, I truly do respect dead air because. Yeah. Hello? Oh, oh you, you blew it. Ah, now you're there. No, yeah, I'm here. Answer the question. This is uh, Chief Ned Eagle here. I, uh, you got the cheese? Excellent. What else you got for me? Well, see, I was wondering, do you prefer a ice house thunder stick or do you go for the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, like the mad dog? Ooh, um, probably toward the mad. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Is that, you, is that pretty good stuff then? It's it's okay. I mean, it's it's short term, which is what I like better. I mean, it's it's a high peak, but it's a short duration. I, I hate I hate the long drawn out shit. I much rather go up and down instead of just like long sloping. No, I'd rather be up, yeah, and then and over. Go oh, yeah. done. Yeah, gotcha. So I hear this glue stuff. What's the what's the glue stuff all about? Oh man, I love glue. Perfect. The perfect high that I like, you know, it's like something you can carry in your pocket. If you want to get a little bit closer to it, you just, or something you can just like, you know, very handy. If you like your shoes falling apart, you can take what you're getting high on and fix your shoe and then get high along with your shoe. It's cool. Oh, all right. So my auntie's got this tree wheeler that I, I go right around on every once in a while. But I uh, I blew all three tires on it, and I I got to get some donuts for it so I can uh, spin out a little bit. You know uh, where I can what, get some of those? What size rubber are you looking for? Oh, about twelve inches. Um, good tire shop over off of uh, South Congress and Stastny. Used yeah. tires, not a bad place. Oh, used that's best. I like used tires. Either that, or go over and try Buds over off of First Street. He's got a lot of Harleys there, but he's also probably got a few, like, tires laying around. Cool. Well, it's all right. I'll check it out. I'll check it out. Right on. Oh, now that truly hurts. I mean, somebody was there and they came up. You got the time. Key. Excellent. What else you got for me? I was wondering, um, you heard on the news that kind of shut down um, uh, Club Illusion. Why? They said, I guess... Too many uh, fleet phone calls. They said they get. I never been there, but they said a couple of times fight. Um, I guess uh, police have been called by over two hundred times. And well, man, if if they want that, they all all they got to do is go to the uh, Carnival Tejano Club over off of Riverside, right near the back room. Yeah, <laughs> boy, if they want to start shutting down clubs, uh, that one, that one's got about like. Fifty fights out in the parking lot every Friday night. Yeah, no, I passed almost every, almost each time or each night. Yeah, and all of a sudden, I don't, I don't get it. When you got a bar or the club, these things are going to happen. You it's know, just a gonna, natural order of things. It just happens. But I'm like this: if you go on, on a club, I, I suggest that built somewhere that is not residential around. Maybe that'd be better. But at that time, I never been to Club Illusion, but they showed the parking lot. At that certain time, business not open though, so who complaining? Ain't nobody complaining, like you said. At well, you see, time, that, that's the only problem is when you build a club, right? Sometimes the club's there already, and the neighborhood happens around it. It's like say, say like a club like that that used to be in the warehouse district. The warehouses yeah. closed down, and then they tear down the warehouses and they put either like apartments or houses there, then your club is pretty well screwed. It's not because of your own doing. It's because of the zoning change. But this, this, this is something I don't get. If you move if you move next to a club or any bar, you know what's going to happen. So why are you going to bitch about it? That's, that's like the same reasoning of why people in the beautiful palaces downtown Bitch about the noise coming from Sixth Street. What you gonna do, G? What you gonna do? Hello. You got the time. Jeez. Excellent. What else you got for me? Hey, when are you planning to go to a rodeo? Say what? When are you planning to go to a rodeo? Uh, probably middle of next week. So I'll meet you there. So I, I, I hook you up with a beer. It's on me. 
That's tight. I'd appreciate that. How are you going to go with your wife? So I'll take one of my girls. That's cool. I can handle that. How are you going to take your wife? No, she ain't too much in the Cowboys. All right. So whenever I meet you, see you over there, the beer's on me. All right. I'll be there. You got the time. Go ahead. Yo. Keith. Excellent. What else you got for me? <laughs> Ouch, I heard. You got the time. Hey. Answer the question, please. Uh, uh, bro, bro. Answer um, the question, please. Lucky. Excellent. What else you got for me? Uh, uh, what, what do you believe about, um, what do you feel about the, the, the Mayan calendar and the end of the world? There you go. Let's see. Uh, the Mayan calendar. Um, I know it's pretty accurate. And as far as the end of the world goes, um, well, it, since there's not much I personally can do about it, I'm really not that worried. I'm with you, brother. I, I think we should get high and just not worry about it that day. It's, it's just like, you know, it's 2012. And it's just, yeah, it's like when 2000 happened. Oh, my God, all the computers and everything's going to go. <laughs> And so it comes along, and it's like, the only thing that went was the idea that everything was going to go, and then they're saying, well, it's the end of the world. And then some people will say, well, the meteor from space that's way out there is going to come close enough for us to say it's this. Or it's like, wait, maybe everybody's consciousness will change. Like, you know, if, if, if something happens, fabulous. But if it's so bad or so totally weird, then if it's going to fuck us up so bad, we won't even notice it. Yeah. And, so why and I worry about it. Yeah, exactly. 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 And, and I don't think any man will ever know anyway. So. Yeah. It's just one of those things. It's like me, I figure, Hey, I'm going to party down like that years, every other year. For me, man. I'm going to be on glue. So if all changes, it's just like, Hey, it's just another trip. <laughs> all right. Later. All right, bro. One more thing. Could you tell my friend Meredith happy birthday? Happy birthday! Thank you. You got the time. Hello? Good evening. Good evening. Answer the question, please. Huh? Answer the question, please. Turn your TV down. Oh, uh, yes. My name is Bob. So turn your TV down, because that, that show you're watching really sucks. Let me tell you. There you go. Okay, can you hear me now? Uh, I can hear you better. Can you hear me better now? Yeah. Excellent. Answer the question, please. Okay, my name is Bob. All right, uh, we can get on with this as soon as you answer the question. What's the question? Uh, you're not paying attention. Keep watching. You got the time. Hey, man, what's up? Answer the question, please. Lucky. See? You got it. First try. You've been watching. You've been paying attention. Outstanding. I salute you. Uh, right. What else, can, uh, what else can I do for you now? Listen, bro, man. You got this chick that just called you, man. She sounds hot. I'm really interested in her. And she sounds like she was trying to find somebody. And I'm trying to find somebody, too. And you got the time, so... Hey, you know, may maybe, maybe I, um, my sweet lady, if uh, you are still watching my show, uh, without tapping on your computer, why don't you uh, come down to my show here at Access? It's 1143 Northwestern next week, and say hi to the guys who show up. Not the guy, man. The hot chick, dude. She was. No, that, hot. that's if, if if you notice what I just said. I said the girl who sounded hot, should come down here and hook up. Right on, man. It sounds like a plan, bro. You keep on keeping on, dude. All right. We'll see you next week, man, bro. All right, man. Later. You got the time. Jeez. Excellent. What else you got for me? I just want to know, uh, where do you get these uh, answer choices from? I'm just curious. The The what? Like the lucky or cheese? Do you draw them from a hat or you stick uh, them before no, the show or what? No, it, it's like five minutes before the show starts, I just sit down and figure out two words that pretty well have no meaning together whatsoever. So 
these are just totally random. I ran, I was at a place earlier today called the Lucky Bar and Grill, uh -huh. and my friend said that's cheesy. So, okay, Lucky or Cheese? Oh, Custom. look, I, I got a question for you. I'm here for it. All right. Uh, log cabin in Colorado or mansion in L.A.? Okay. Question. <laughs> Summertime or winter? Middle. Changing, okay. Uh, winter going into summer? Or spring? <laughs> yeah. Or uh, summer going into fall and winter? Summer going into fall and winter. Colorado. But what if you get a real bad snowstorm? Huh? Real bad snowstorm. Doesn't matter. If yeah, it's early right. in the it's season, good. it'll still melt away a little bit. And what do you think about all this Rihanna and Chris Brown stuff? The what? The Rihanna and Chris Brown stuff. What do you think about that? Uh, oh, oh. Yeah. She, she should show girls in America that if your old man hits you once, you should just leave him behind because he's not worth your time. He, she has, unfortunately, the syndrome of the battered wife syndrome is like well how can you leave him it's he this only happens once in a while he really loves me no he's just a a fucking animal mm -hmm. and she should show girls that you don't need to take this and leave him because i think next time that happens she will more than likely we would be hearing there is a warrant out on chris for murder <laughs> But no, I saw on TV that like Nickelodeon like is thinking about not even nominating Chris Brown. Like to me, that ain't right. You know, I mean, I I agree he shouldn't have done that, but you can't take a guy off the list to win an award. You know, you know, Britney Spears, she's still out making CDs. What's up with that? Well, yeah, but she's she's had kids. And yeah, she's trying. True. She's she's trying to clean it up a little bit, but yeah, she is. It's, a little it's, bit. it's a matter of if you know for a fact that you were in a public eye. And no matter what you do is going to be public image, right? Right. There are, okay, th okay, perfect example. You swim for the Olympics. You win a lot of medals, but you get caught at a party with a bong on your face. <laughs> Great example. I like right? your example. You're right. So he's not hurting anybody. True. He's enjoying a natural herb. It may be slightly illegal, but around here, if you get caught with it under a certain amount, they write you a ticket. Mm -hmm. You don't know for a fact what was even in that pipe. You don't know if it was regular tobacco or something else. Okay. But due to the fact that he came clean, he said, yeah, that's what I was doing. Sorry about that. And he got a DWI earlier. They should be sponsors, forgiven. Sponsors got ripped. Okay, so that's not too bad. That isn't bothering anybody but himself. The DWI hurted nobody because he didn't get in an accident. He got pulled over, you know, wore the bracelets, got out, got yep. caught with a bong. Didn't hurt, a, didn't hurt a person, right? Right. Come here, bitch. <laughs> and now you're saying Nickelodeon shouldn't be pulling his name off a list? <laughs> Okay, after that, after that cold stuff move you just pulled, you know, yeah, that was pretty tight. That like uh, ninja move. Yeah, yeah. You see, that's after that. After that, makes, after, that, that, makes, that they, after that, they should reconsider. That just right. led to all that makes all the difference in the world. He was not hurting himself; he was hurting somebody else. That's true, which is just fucked up. But and then also, your show is on from Wednesday ten to midnight, right? Uh, ten till eleven thirty. We have about. Two minutes left. And then, then you used to be on uh, Sunday nights at midnight? Or you yeah, I used to, I, I'm not there anymore. This is where my show is now. Okay, Wednesday, apparently. All right, well, enjoy your show, man, and I'll oh. let you keep the last two minutes. Appreciate yeah. it. Um, the 29th and the 27th of this month, Friday the 27th, mm -hmm. I will be doing this live on stage at the Vortex at 11 o'clock. Awesome. So um, if you are interested in meeting the clown in person, Awesome. That I'll definitely is, try to be there and try to advertise it for you. Yeah, I'm gonna have I'm gonna have some flyers out. Awesome. 
So there you go. Good luck. Awesome. Have a, have Appreciate talking to you, Clown. Later. Peace. Make it short and sweet. Chief. Excellent. What else you got for me? Hey, um, I was going to ask you, do you make tattoos? No, I do not push ink. I, hey, I have you, tattoos, but I do not push ink. Have you ever, um, how many tattoos um, have you put on your ass? Because I remember you showed the rows. How many roses you got? Two, right? I got, I, got a, I got two big ones and about eight small ones. I'm working on a dozen. For the next one on the foot? Yeah, you there. Make it short and sweet. Huh? Yeah, you're there. Make it short uh, and sweet. My roommate's cheating on his girl on her on her girlfriend, and uh, I need to know. I need to know if I should tell him or not. Okay, you need to know. You need to know if you need to tell him that she's cheating, or you need to know that to let her know that he's cheating. My roommate is cheating on his girlfriend. Should I tell his girlfriend? If you want to get her, go for it. Make it short and sweet. Um, should I pick? Uh, Lucky. Okay, Lucky is fine. Okay, anything else? Um, okay, I wanted to know how you feel about what is happening in Pakistan and in the Salaz Valley. Uh, I have no idea. It's political. I stay out of it. Thank you. Have a great night. Okay, folks, there it is. Uh, if you know somebody with AIDS, give them a hug. We're going to throw it up. Um, peace, love to everybody out there, and uh, have a great one.